Hi and welcome. So I'm here on the beach today. Can you believe it? For anybody that lives in the UK, it is September. It's mid-September. And, you know, I, the weather is absolutely cracking. I am sorry, there's somebody really noisy walking past with lots of dogs shouting at them all. Um, the weather is amazing. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to take you down to the beach today. I'm going to bring my office, um, especially this morning, down to the beach, work from the beach, get in and connect in with what my soul loves. And my soul is connected to the sea, connected to the ocean, being outside, being in this sun. And so I thought um, I would bring you you with me today and today is all about what happens when divine feminine starts to make the journey about her or about you what happens when instead of you focusing all your energy onto divine masculine you actually go no I am now going to go about this journey in a different way. I'm going to start to shift my focus onto me. And for anybody who is struggling with this, I want you to know that this is a process. It's You may make that decision in your head, but you will sort of bounce backwards and forwards. What you need to always do is keep bringing it back to you. Because as soon as you start to make the journey about you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine will feel it. And where is it felt? It is felt in the heart chakra. It is felt in the solar plexus. It is felt in the sacral. It is felt in the root. It is felt in the throat. It is felt in the third eye and it is felt in the crown. Now, you will know that I always say that divine masculine works very much in the lower three chakras, but both twins are activated in all chakras. But the most of the matrix work happens in the three lower ones. But what will they feel? They will start to be able to breathe. Their mind will be no longer chaotic. Now, why is that, Kat? I mean, how can you affect another person? How is that even possible? Because this is one energetic system, it is one soul, as you shift, they feel it energetically and that's what I want you to understand today everything that is going on here is going on energetically it doesn't really matter what you've got at play here in the 3d because when you start to shift energetically and and that deep inner knowing divine masculine will feel it they'll be able to start looking at things within their lives they no longer feel chaotic they no longer feel that they need to run because now there's nothing to run from you know if you keep chasing a dog the dog will keep running but if you turn and go the other way the dog will normally sooner or later oh there's a dog on Thank you. Thanks for the cue. <laughs> the dog will start to follow you. And so I know my dog will. If I chase my dog and I'm like chasing him, chasing him, chasing him, he'll run off and he'll go and do big circles around me and go crazy. Now, I'm saying this in an extreme form, but I'm saying it so you really start to understand it. It's energetically. When Divine Masculine no longer feels any push energy, there's nowhere for them to go. The only way they can go is to look within self. And when they look within self, that's when they start to really feel into what they are moving through and shifting through. So can you see, and this is a really important part of the journey, that Divine Feminine must make the journey about them. When you make the journey about you, it releases Divine Masculine to fully feel into the journey, to fully look at themselves, to fully stop running and to start to neutralize that energy. And the more that you neutralize, the more that it vibrates through to Divine Masculine. You really have to see this journey not from a physical stance, but from the energy. This is a deeply mystical journey journey. This is not something that you can try and figure out in the mind and try and get a plan together. 
The journey is always about you. The journey will break you open, Divine Feminine, but it's how you then work with that openness. Are you going to just lay crumbled on the floor, you know, having reading after reading, searching outside of yourselves, going to relationship coaches, trying to figure out the journey and getting nowhere? Or are you going to go, no, today, Kat, is the day that I stop it all and I start to reclaim my power back on this journey. I have felt powerless on this journey, Kat. I have felt that it has taken all my light out of me. But I, Kat, now I'm going to bring this back to me. I'm going to reclaim my power. I'm going to reclaim my light. I am going to start to align with my soul. And where do you and your divine masculine connect in? In soul vibration. So as soon as you start to make the journey about you, shift your focus on you, it allows the energy to aerate. Now at this point, <laughs> divine masculine may start peacocking the energy. And if you want to know about peacocking energy, then it's all in my Twin Flame course. If you want to know how to move through this whole journey from the A to Z of the journey and how you move through each of the stages then it's all in my twin flame course we have also got detox going at the moment to really help and support you i don't want to see anybody suffering on this journey and feeling like they're just surviving the journey i want you to see that actually this journey is a journey for divine feminine to switch the energy and to turn it into thriving energy and actually this journey was not happening to you this journey was orchestrated from soul and this is a journey where you thrive I hope this helps. Um, thank you for joining me. If you need more help and support, if you look down in the description, you'll find a link in there. And in that link, the dogs are going mad now. In that link, you will see, you'll be able to head over to my website. There's loads of information on there, pod, uh, podcasts, there's uh, blogs, there's loads of information about this journey. Journey's not meant to um, put you into survival mode, it's meant to put you into thriving mode. I send you so much love, many blessings.